So if we look at the whole picture of the origins of early homo, if we look at the larger brain, smaller teeth, larger body size, greater home range size, use of stone tools, and improved dietary quality, one way of broadening this view is to think of it not just as an expensive tissue hypothesis, but an expensive lifestyle hypothesis. The changes that go along with the transition from Australopithecus to Homo involve dramatically increased ecological intensity. Hominins are covering a larger area. They're utilizing the environment in more intense ways to get different kinds of resources out of the environment, particularly fats and animal meats and other kinds of resources that may not have been available prior to the utilization of stone tools. All of this corresponding with simply more intense utilization of the environment and a more demanding need for energetic resources. Now this process of intensification is something that we'll see throughout the Pleistocene as it turns out, and it's characterized by the increased archaeological utilization of the environment as we move later in human evolutionary history. But this initial transition we can see actually in the morphology of these specimens. The larger brain, involving increased energetic demands, the larger body size, all of these associated with simply expensive lifestyles. So, Part of the other factor that goes along with these increased expensive lifestyles is the fact that that involves utilization of greater cooperative resources as well. To maintain an expensive lifestyle, you need help from your friends. You need greater social relationships. So this is something that we also expect to see with early homo, is increased social cooperation associated with utilizing more resources out of the environment.